Um, Want to see a picture of baby hippo, you? Uh, always. Thank yes, you. who doesn't on a Friday <laughs> morning want to see a baby hippo? Here we go. This is Aurora, who had a rather oh, rocky start to life. Here's this more. This is the little girl. Oh, my goodness. Meet three-week-old Aurora, a rare newborn hippo. In fact, staff at Flamingoland say she's the first hippo to be born in the UK for seven years. This is her mum. She's huge and appropriately named Godzilla. Common hippos are vulnerable to extinction, so the European breeding programme are delighted by the birth of Aurora. It is so exciting to be this close to a little baby hippo, but it's been quite an anxious time for you guys here, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, amazing when she was born, but then after the first 48 hours or so, um, as much as mum kind of wanted to, she wasn't getting any milk. When she was just three days old, the veterinary surgeon found Aurora in a life-threatening state. She's now getting round-the-clock care. It's a challenge, but now we've got a suckling onto her arm first, then slide the bottle in underneath. Um, she's definitely getting the hang of it. Like all newborns, she's demanding. The team are bottle feeding her six times a day from 5 a.m. to midnight. Come on, madam. Let's have you. Boop, 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 boop. How does it feel for you as a zookeeper? Because this is a really rare birth to have <laughs> happened at any zoo in the UK. I'm just proud of the team, proud of Godzilla, and it's just amazing to be part of it. It's one of those things that you can tick off your list. You're going to get in your bath now. Thank you. She's clearly growing in confidence now, and just look at how much she enjoys the water. Watch your toes. <laughs> <laughs> she was named Aurora because she was born the same week as the Northern Lights illuminated our skies, and her future is now looking bright. Really, our next task is to try and get her socialised with the other hippos and get her outside, get her out in the fresh air, out in the sunshine. And if we can, mix her with dad, with mum, and just get her being a hippo again. And that, that really is the crucial part. Guests at Flamingoland should soon be able to see Aurora out and about alongside the other animals. Hannah Gray, BBC News. There is proof that there is never a reason to not show a baby hippo. Works every time, doesn't it? The thing about a hippo is they're miniaturised big ones, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They, they kind of look the same but smaller. Whereas you look at a puppy in isolation, you can see it's a puppy instantly. If you see a baby hippo on its own, it just looks like a big hippo but smaller. Uh, that's my theory for the morning, <laughs> Simon. How about that? I like that theory, though. That is quite good.